Catgirl Stella had always enjoyed her late-night walks home from the bar where she worked. The quiet streets and calm night air were a welcome change from the loud music and lively chatter of the bar. But for the past week, Stella had felt a growing sense of unease. She couldn't shake the feeling that she was being watched, that someone was following her. Tonight, as she walked home, that unsettling feeling returned. She heard quick footsteps behind her. Before she could turn around, a handkerchief was pressed over her mouth and nose, causing her to inhale a pungent and overpowering scent. It smelled like chloroform, and before she could react, Stella felt herself becoming weak and sleepy. She realized with horror that she was being kidnapped. As she drifted off into unconsciousness, she realized that her kidnapper was a woman, one of the patrons of the bar. The woman was speaking, a mad gleam in her eyes. I've been watching you, Stella. Planning this for a long time. I've always wanted a cute cat girl for myself, and you're perfect. You'll stay with me forever, and we'll be so happy together. When Stella awoke, she found herself in an unfamiliar, dark place. She tried to move, but realized that she was tightly bound with rope. She tried to call for help, but a hand covered her mouth, and she realized that her kidnapper was standing over her. The woman had wavy brown hair and crazy eyes, and she told Stella to be quiet. Stella tried to call for help even harder, but her cries were muffled by the woman's hand. <laughs> Please, kitten, the woman said, her voice a desperate whisper. You must stay silent. If you make any noise, I will have to gag you, and I don't want to do that. Stella looked up at her captor with wide, frightened eyes, but the woman continued to plead. I know this must be scary for you, she said. I know you want to go home. But I need you to be quiet. If you make a sound, they will find us. They will take you away from me. And I can't let that happen. I'm so sorry. But I have to keep you safe. I have to keep us both safe. The woman stuffed a hanky in Stella's mouth and then wrapped a black cloth over her mouth, tying it behind her head. I chose black cloth to match your clothes, so you look cute even when gagged. She then told Stella to try to make some noise so she could check the gag. Stella tried with all her strength, but it came out as a quiet, muffled sound. The woman seemed satisfied and told Stella that she would stay with her forever. She admired Stella's cat ears for a while, touching them with her hand, which sent shivers down Stella's spine. After she was satisfied, the woman left Stella alone in the basement. Stella's heart raced as she realized that she had been kidnapped by a Yandera stalker. She had always heard about such cases, but never thought that she would be a victim. She wondered if she would be able to escape or if someone would rescue her. She struggled against the ropes, but they were too tight, and she couldn't free herself. She felt helpless, alone, and scared. The only thing she could do was wait and hope for a chance to escape. As hours passed by, Stella's hope began to fade. The basement was damp and cold, and she couldn't move from her spot. She tried to think positive, but the gag in her mouth made it difficult to even swallow. She felt like she was going to choke. The woman's occasional visits didn't help either. She kept gushing over how cute Stella was, how perfect she was for her, and how happy they would be together. It made Stella feel uncomfortable, and she wished that she had never worked at the bar where this woman had seen her. Stella didn't know how long she would be stuck in the basement. She felt like her kidnapper had lost touch with reality, and what she wanted was dangerous. 
but at the same time, there was a small flame of hope in her heart, that someone would notice her absence, that someone would come to rescue her. She held on to that hope with all her might, as she continued to struggle against her bindings, and wait for her chance to escape. It was a terrifying experience for her, and it made her realize, how important it was to be aware of her surroundings, and take necessary precautions. She hoped that she would get out of there soon, and promised herself, that if she ever did, she would never take her freedom for granted.